In the unfathomable silence of deep space, where no planet spins and no sun shines, something moved. And it wasn't drifting aimlessly like space debris. Nor was it dancing along the path of a comet. No, this was movement with purpose. Detected not by a cutting-edge AI satellite or a billion-dollar observatory, but by one of humanity's oldest and most humble messengers, Voyager 2. A spacecraft launched in the 1970s, now operating far beyond the edge of our solar system, has picked up something so strange, so utterly unexpected that scientists are now questioning the very framework of astrophysics. Because Voyager didn't just observe a fluctuation. It captured an anomaly, a traveling object or entity moving with a rhythm and intelligence that nature isn't supposed to have out there. So, what is it? A rogue anomaly? A new form of cosmic matter? Or could it be something artificial? Let's dive into what Voyager 2 just saw and why this chilling discovery could change everything we thought we knew about space. Voyager 2's instruments are primitive by today's standards. Analog-era relics floating through digital age space. Yet, it was precisely one of these instruments, the plasma wave detector that caught the first trace. It started as a low-frequency pulse. Then came the irregular flickers, directional shifts, and finally a sustained pattern of movement. But here's the kicker. This detection didn't come from within the heliosphere, where solar winds and gravitational noise can create turbulence. No, it came from the silence beyond, past the heliopause, into interstellar space, where the environment is expected to be flat, featureless, and cold. It's like hearing a whisper in the middle of a desert. Scientists immediately ruled out common explanations. No asteroid belts, no gravitational anomalies, no comets or dust clouds. Whatever Voyager 2 detected was moving, shifting direction, and altering its frequency as though aware of its own trajectory and possibly Voyager. Analyzing the data deeper revealed something even more disturbing. The signal didn't just move, it responded. At moments when Voyager's orientation changed, the reading seemed to adjust, too. Some scientists suspect feedback as though the object recognized it was being observed. The behavior mimicked that of a probe or drone scanning its environment, not a drifting rock. But here's where it gets weird. There is no known propulsion system that can function efficiently in interstellar space. Not chemical, not solar and certainly not nuclear without a clear energy signature. Yet, this object altered its motion without leaving behind any detectable exhaust or radiation trail. Even more puzzling were the signal modulations. Unlike natural waves, which fluctuate based on predictable mechanics, this pattern showed timed intervals, bursts of energy followed by silence, then another burst with just enough difference to suggest possible intent, a cosmic Morse code, or something far stranger. Naturally, whispers of artificiality began circulating within the scientific community. Could it be that Voyager 2 had stumbled across an ancient construct, adrift in the void? Or perhaps a technology so advanced it defies our understanding of material science? One theory even suggests it might be a cloaked reconnaissance device, the interstellar equivalent of a submarine peering through the depths. But speculation must wrestle with reality. If this is artificial, whose is it? It's far beyond any known Earth-made probe and too structured to be random debris. Some astrophysicists posited a more grounded yet equally fascinating explanation. Perhaps it's a naturally occurring plasma formation that developed a feedback loop almost like a rudimentary intelligence, a semiconscious cloud responding to external electromagnetic fields. But even that theory stretches current physics. What's clear is that whatever Voyager 2 saw, it doesn't fit in our cosmic Rolodex of phenomena. It's the kind of detection that forces textbooks to be rewritten. And then there's the location. Voyager 2 is currently in one of the quietest zones of known space, the local interstellar cloud. It's a region where matter is so sparse that even a few atoms per cubic cm is considered dense. For something to move there and to do so with purpose implies it is either generating its own energy or surfing on unknown interstellar currents. But there's more. The path of this anomaly wasn't a straight line. It curved, dipped, and paused, movements consistent with course correction. If it were random turbulence, it wouldn't show such refined behavior. Some researchers are now theorizing that Voyager might have crossed through a field, an area in space that reacts to its presence. 
Think of it as a cosmic sensor field where entering it activates something else, a trigger. If that's the case, then Voyager didn't just observe something strange, it may have activated it. And that thought alone has astronomers both thrilled and terrified. As more data came in, researchers started seeing a disturbing repetition. Within the movement data, especially the directional shifts and signal strength, there were recurring intervals. These weren't chaotic natural fluctuations. They formed a pattern, one that repeated in clusters of prime numbers, 3, 5, and 7. At first, the team dismissed it as data noise. But when signal processing specialists ran deep waveform analyses, they found harmonics consistent with structured transmission signals that echo what we've seen in experimental quantum communication. Think about that for a moment. This wasn't just some object moving. It was moving in code. And in physics, when code appears where only chaos should reign, something or someone is trying to be noticed or is tracking something else. Either scenario is deeply unsettling. We've never seen anything like this from a natural object, nor has Voyager 2 ever reported similar feedback. This was new, and more importantly, it was intelligent. What made the mystery even more disturbing was a finding buried in archive telemetry. When researchers compared Voyager 2's readings with those from other long-distance missions like New Horizons and Pioneer 10, subtle anomalies began to line up. New Horizons had experienced unexplained sensor glitches in a region not far from Voyager's current position. Pioneer 10, now defunct, had encountered an unexplained trajectory drift decades ago, one that was never fully explained. All of these moments had been filed away as insignificant or blamed on radiation interference. But now, viewed in context with Voyager 2's current encounter, a chilling possibility emerged. This moving object might not be new. It could have been following us slowly, silently from the edge of the system all along, moving just outside of observational reach, and now finally, for reasons unknown, revealing itself. On day 49 of continuous monitoring, the object did something that sent an undeniable chill through every scientist watching. It stopped, not decelerated, not drifted, stopped as if aware that it had been fully discovered. Then over the next 17 hours, it began a series of micro-movements that formed a tight spiral, not unlike a figure, the same kind of pattern we use to stabilize orbital observatories. That might sound random to the public, but to engineers and physicists, it screamed of calibration, as if the object were adjusting its position relative to Voyager 2 or to something else in the vicinity. And then came the pulse, a single sharp spike in low-frequency radiation, so precise it tripped one of Voyager's legacy safety protocols. The probe responded by realigning its dish, and the signal stopped. This has led to a haunting theory. Perhaps the object wasn't just detected. Perhaps it was trying to communicate and Voyager responded unknowingly. Theorists across the world are now split. Some believe Voyager 2 has simply encountered an exotic interstellar particle cloud or a new type of fluctuating plasma event. But a growing number of astrophysicists are proposing something far more extraordinary, that the object could be a form of cosmic gatekeeper. Not a ship, not a creature, but a sentient construct left in deep space to monitor passage through a specific corridor of the galaxy. The patterns, the pulses, the adaptive behavior, all seem designed to observe, to interact, and perhaps to evaluate. Some are even comparing it to theoretical constructs like von Neumann probes, machines built to observe civilizations as they evolve technologically. If true, then the implications are staggering. We are not alone. And more than that, we've been observed for longer than we realize. Voyager the 2nd of May have not just found something unusual. It may have crossed a line, stepped through a sensor, and woken something that had been dormant until now. So, what exactly did Voyager 2 witness in the most silent stretch of space we've ever explored? A drifting anomaly with inexplicable patterns. A cloaked artificial probe lost in the void. Or something far more deliberate. A watcher, a sentry, a gatekeeper placed to monitor who dares to cross the edge of this cosmic territory. For decades, we believed Voyager was our lone ambassador, drifting aimlessly through the stars like a bottle with a message inside. But now, it appears that message may have been received. And the response, a flicker in the dark, a pulse, a shift in motion from something that was never supposed to exist. And perhaps something that was waiting. This isn't just a strange anomaly buried in data logs. 
This is a paradigm shift, a new chapter in human understanding, a reminder that for all our satellites and science, we're still walking in the dark. And now something in that darkness has turned to look at us. If Voyager 2 just made contact with something out there, then the silence of space may not be so silent after all. And that means the question is no longer what we found, but what comes next. If this shook your idea of reality, hit that like button. Subscribe for more discoveries that bend the rules of science. And turn on notifications so you don't miss when the next message arrives from the void. Because space just blinked back and the universe is no longer ignoring us.